kali kuhakikisha kuwa kila mtoto wa kike anapewa nafasi ya kutosha katika jamii haswa upande wa elimu. Hayo yalisemwa na viongozi wa shirika moja lisilokuwa la serikali kwa jina Action Aid linalojihusisha na masuala ya kutetea haki za mtoto wa kike kupata elimu. Viongozi hao walizungumza hapa Nairobi kwenye hafla ya kusherehekea miaka minne ya shirika hilo tangu lilipoanza kutoa huduma za kuwasaidia watoto wa kike wanaotelekezwa katika jamii. Kule mvulana wa kuna thamani msichana hana thamani. Lakini but sasa hii wanasema wote wako na thamani kwa sababu wenye wale wavulana walisoma na mimi niwashinda wale ambao walisoma. Niko ningewa ningependa kuambia kwa msichana ako na haki venye kijana ako nayo. Msichana anaweza soma bila kuharibika na msichana kwa akisoma bado anaweza saidia watu wa kijiji kila mahali saa kama saa hizi mimi nimesoma na bado nawasaidia watu wa kijiji wenye hawana hawawezi kujisaidia nawasaidia na ile ujuzi mimi pia nimepata the child has a right to education there's the government they are the parents the community and the society at large so the way the program was designed we were able to work on policy issues um the government to look into accelerated learning if there are girls who would like to be to improve on their numeracy and literacy skills so that they can go back to school if there are girls who wanted to improve on their numeracy so that they can do their businesses those who want to be trained on apprenticeship and we've seen that even in the training centers these girls are excelling so we did establish that uh, many of our learners are still out of school in collaboration with the government uh, this project here uh, embarked on the development of accelerated education guidelines uh, that was done uh, through the ministry i mean the, the, the through the directorate of policy and partnerships at the ministry of education level currently we are in the process of piloting the guidelines and this one will be a game changer to learners who are out of school because na sekta ya kilimo ni moja kati ya sekta zilizoathirika mno na mabadiliko ya hali ya anga kwa kulima kutoka sehemu mbali mbali nchini wakikadiria hasara kubwa kutokana na mimea ama mimea yao kuzidi kwenye ukia mashambani wataalamu wa kilimo wameonya kwamba hali hii ni tishio kubwa kwa uzalishaji na utishelevu wa chakula nchini Clement Masombo anaarifu zaidi Ulimwengu unapozidi kukabiliana na athari za mabadiliko ya tabia nchi, sekta ya kilimo ni moja kati ya sekta zilizoathirika zaidi kutokana na kipindi kirefu cha kiangazi kinachoendelea kushuhudiwa maeneo kadhaa nchini. Haya yanajiri huku wakulima wakiendelea kulalamika kutokana na mimea yao kunyaukia mashambani hasa katika maeneo yanayokuza majani chai na kahawa. Wataalamu wanasema hali hii imechangia na ukame ambao umesababishwa na athari za mabadiliko ya tabia nchi na kuathiri pakubwa uzalishaji wa vyakula. We are having a very big challenge in terms of uh, production of, of green leaf and this uh, has essentially been caused by the prolonged drought that we have been having. There, there are many things in climate change. This is one of them where you stop using chemical fertilizer so that you don't pollute the air with nitrous oxide that comes from DAP, CAN and PK. And now the next thing is even the way the coffee is growing here. This is what you call uh, shade grown coffee. Katika kaunti ya Nyeri ambapo wakulima wengi hutegemea kilimo cha majani chai na kahawa, baadhi ya wakulima wamelazimika kufuta kazi wajiri wa wao huko akisema kazi zimepungua shambani kutokana na kupungua kwa mazao to farmers it is a very reduced reduced income to to the farmer because uh, obviously when we don't have green leaf we do not have we don't have a, a good money at the end of the month Lucy Washira ni mkulima wa majani chai kutoka eneo bunge la Othaya kaunti ya Nyeri anasema kuwa kadri kiangazi kinapozidi ndivyo hali inavyozidi kwa ngumu miongoni mwa wakulima anatueleza kuwa wakati kama huu mwaka uliopita alikuwa anavuna kama kilo elfu mbili za majani chai kila mwezi ila kwa sasa imekuwa vigumu hata kuvuna kilo mia mbili kwa mwezi wiki moja mtu ana na kilo kumi kilo kumi na shilingi kumi na mbili hiyo ni shilingi 120 120 kwa wiki moja na ume na 20 utafanya nini na hizo kufikia mwezi februari mwaka huu kiwango cha mazao ya majani chai katika baadhi ya kampuni kilikuwa kimepungua kwa kati ya 16% na 19%. Asilimia 
haya yote licha ya gharama ya juu ya uzalishaji hasa kwa kampuni zinazotegemea umeme kutoka kwa kampuni ya Kenya Power kwa uzalishaji uh, actually in Iriaini if you compare production of last year to last year february by now 2022 with the february 2023 there is a reduction of over 19 percent kwa hivyo sasa sana sana tunaopa aje tutafutie tu maji hata kama ni boa hose tutengenezwe tu hivi kama ni boga tu pale tutajua venye tutacheze tutachezea Athari za mabadiliko ya tabia nchi zinapozidi kuathiri mamilioni ya wakenya maelfu ya wakulima majani chai pia wanazidi kujawa na hofu iwapo kiangazi kitaendelea mimea mingi sasa imeendelea kunyeukia shambani kwa ukosefu wa maji ya kutosha Clement Masombo KTN News Odhaya Kaunti ya Nyeri Sili ya kikenya inayoishi nchini Marekani inaendelea kumomboleza ama kuomboleza kifo cha mwana wao Ivo Otieno kilichotokea katika hospitali kuu ya Virginia nchini Marekani. Watu kumi wameshtakiwa kwa mauaji ya kijana huyu mkenya mwenye umri wa miaka 28. Maafisa polisi saba